Hello viewers, today we are going to learn the diagonal method for squaring a number. We have already learned the column method for squaring a number. Column method can only be used for a two digit number. This method, the diagonal method can also be used for three digit and four digit numbers. So let's take an example and find the square of 24 by this method. So the first step in this diagonal method is to make a 2 by 2 digit square. Because we have, a, we have to find the square of 2 digit number. So we are making 2 by 2 digit square here. So this is 2 by 2 square. Now the next step is to write the numbers on top. So this is tens digit, this is ones digit and here vertically 2 we have to write the numbers. So we are going to write 2 here and 4 here. So our 2 by 2 square is complete and we have written the numbers now. We have to make the diagonal of each square. So we will make the diagonals here. Now multiply each digit on the left of the square to the digits on the top. So one by one we are going to write the product here. So two times two is four. So we are going to write four here and four is a units, units digit and this triangle is blank. So we are going to write zero here. So this is zero four. Now two times four is eight. So we are going to write zero eight. 4 times 2 is 8, so 0, 8. And 4 times 4 is 16, so 1, 6, 16. Now, we are going to start adding the diagonals here. So we have one diagonal. So we are going to add this number. Then the second will be in between these two diagonals. We have to add these three numbers, then these three numbers and this number. So let's add the numbers here. So the first one is, I am going to write it with a different color. So the first one is 6. So we are going to write 6 as is. Next one is 8 plus 1 plus 8. So this we are going to get 17. The next one is 0 plus 4 plus 4. So we are going to get this as... 4. The next one is only 0. So 0. So we have written the sum of the diagonals here. Now the next step is to carry over the tens digit to the next diagonal. So here we have only a single digit. This is our final term in our answer. So 24 square is equal to the units digit will be 6. So we have written 6 here. The next digit is 7. So we are going to write 7 here. We are going to carry over the tens digit to the next. Carry over the tens digit to the next diagonal. So here 1 is the tens digit. We are going to add 1 here. And this will become 5. So this is our next digit. 5. This is a single digit number. Now if there is a two digit number here then we will have carried over the next tens digit to the next diagonal. But here we have only a single digit number so we have written 5 here. Now the next number is 0. So we will write 0 or our square our answer will be 576. 24 square is 576. Now let's take another number, another big number so that we can get a carry over here. Let's take number 71 here and we'll, fi we'll find the square of 71. Our first step is to make a 2 by 2 square. So this is our square. Next step is to make the diagonals here. The next step is to write the numbers 71, 71, 
Now we will multiply the numbers on the left hand side to the numbers on the top. So 7 times 7 is 49. So 4, 9. 7 times 1 is 7. So 0, 7. 1 times 7 is 7. So 0, 7. 1 times 1 is 1. So 0, 1. Now we will add the diagonals here. So this one is 1. This is 7 plus 0 plus 7 which is 14. So we will carry over this 1 to the next diagonal. So this is going to be 0 plus 9 plus 0 which is 9. And this carry will get added here plus 1. So this is 10. Now this carry will get to the next diagonal. Next diagonal is 4 plus 1 which is 5. Now we will write the digits here. 71 square is. For this one we are going to take this unit's digit. From this we are going to take this digit. From this we are going to take this and this. So our answer is 5041. So this is the square of 71. This is how you can find the square of any number using the diagonal method. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share my videos. Thanks for watching.